Hey everybody, it's Dennis Wood here. Today we're going to go over a quick tutorial, if you like, on how to repair um, an aero panel from your car. Uh, if you have an EV or just about any car now, you're going to have these panels that go underneath. This is the one that goes right underneath the front and it has taken a hit um, probably from a snow chunk, which is common here in the winter. Truck goes by, drops a big chunk out of the fender. EV like this comes by, hits it and punches holes in this thing and or damages the mount points. In this case, two damage points here. So the tray was kind of uh, hanging down a bit and there's a hole in it here, right basically underneath where the motor is. So not a bad idea to patch this up. In this case, I have all the under panels off because I am doing some corrosion uh, rust proofing work on this car. All you need to take this off is a 10 millimeter wrench and just a, a split screwdriver or a trim pin remover. The, most of these points are just push pins. So it's a little plastic, pop the top, or you, you pop the center pin in the fastener and then the whole fastener pops out. They're really simple. So, but you could do it with a, a, a slotted screwdriver and a little bit of uh, patience. And again, a 10 millimeter ratchet. So what I'm using here today, I have West System Epoxy, which I always keep on hand. I have various types of glass, uh, fiberglass. I like to use West System. I, I just keep it always on hand. And I like it because it's waterproof and it's quick and easy to use and it doesn't have any odors. So forgive me. Subliminal messaging here. I'm a happily married man. Um, so what we're gonna do here, I've already kind of done this side. Um, there's very different types of fiberglass that you can get. This is like a, it's called an e-glass. But uh, what I have on hand in my pile of treats here right now is sort of a, uh, a glass mat. It's a really light glass mat. There's no point in going over this with something that's super rigid because this is very flexible. And in the winter in particular, if you hit something, it's just going to pop off the fiberglass. So, I mean, you could go real fancy and do this whole thing with glass if you liked. Uh, just stiffen the whole thing up, which wouldn't be a terrible thing to do, but uh, can get a little expensive. First things first, we're going to have to glove up here because, before we do any work, because if you value anything that you're wearing or uh, anything that you're working with, you're going to get epoxy on, it's probably going to get wrecked. So you want to glove up and wear some old clothes. Let's grab some gloves here. I always keep a supply of these gloves. If you visit your proctologist, perhaps you can ask him for an extra pair or two, but in this case, I always keep these on hand for this reason specifically. West System is super easy to use. And uh, I recommend if you do use it, you get these pumps. Why? Because the pumps will, um, actually, before we touch anything here, let's cut a few bits of glass. We're just gonna repair. I've already done this bit, but I've noticed this area right here, I kind of just forgot about while I was fixing it. So let's do a little area here and then we'll uh, actually, we'll just kind of tear off this loose bit here. Like so, this is loose anyway. So you're just exposing some of this fiber material. This is almost like cardboard, this stuff. If you go to the dealer though, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny. Probably, I think the quote I got on this piece was about uh, $300 Canadian. Not super happy about that, easy to fix. So with West System, you've got your resin and uh, I'm actually gonna put in a fair bit because we're gonna do the back side of this as well. I've done the front side, you can see everything that looks red is basically rinse and repeat of what I just did. We'll put in like five pumps of the resin, set that out of the way, the hardener, there's a couple different types of hardener. There's put a little bit extra there. Stir this up. Stirring's the important thing. There are two types of hardener, 205, 206 with West System. One is faster than the other. It just gives you less pot time. Again, I've used this for years. When you mix it up, in this case, it turns red because of the hardener. I think I've got the slow in here. I can't tell because the labels been damaged by leakage. Um, handy dandy, more or less disposable brush. And what you do, what you can do is just wet things out a little bit here. You can see this is the area that I want to repair. 
like so. You can see I've cut a little square. I'm just gonna set it on there and adhere it. You can see it's super simple. We'll wet the brush out because it makes it easier. Now I'm on my, the world's most disposable plastic table here, so I don't really care if I get uh, epoxy on it. It's plastic and it's painted, so nothing really s sticks to it. And all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna wet this out. And what I find works best is just this kind of dabbing motion with the mat. And I'm going right over, there's a, there's a mount hole here. I'm gonna go right over that and we'll just trim that out after. But the idea here is when it looks wet and there's no bubbles underneath it, then you know you've got enough epoxy. Again, no one's ever gonna see this. And quite frankly, it's really just there more for winter and also for aero, because if you have one of these panels with mount points that are damaged invariably, you'll see people driving around with the aero panel dipping or dragging down, which is not good for efficiency. And it's certainly not good in the winter because you'll be picking up salt and all the other nasty stuff that you don't want in the engine bay or the, I guess the motor bay, being that this is an EV. Gas car, EV car, doesn't matter. It's the same sort of deal. A lot of these cars, this one has a, a bit of an insulation, I think, value to this piece. Why probably in cold temperatures to keep the engine bay area warmer. As cars become more efficient, it becomes more important to keep that warm. I'm just gonna put some Saran over here saran wrap why because and this will just come off later epoxy doesn't really stick to this type of material so well so i'm just going to put that on there why because i want to flip this over and you can see what i did here i just used some of this tuck tape stuck it on there why to get a little bit of structure all of these areas were damaged you can see now as I take this tuck tape off, I just used it almost like a mold. You can use uh, saran wrap, you can use tape. Come on, stupid. Oh. Due to my insistence on filming in the worst possible conditions, namely sunlight, a camera overheated, uh, died during the shoot there. So, but uh, I did finish this up, uh, just glassed everything out. So this unit will be ready to go probably in about two or three hours. I'll probably wait a day, hit it with some black matte paint underneath or flat black paint underneath just to make it look pretty and we'll call it done. If you did find this useful, a like and subscribe to the channel would be appreciated. And again, I uh, hope that you found this video useful.